morning, I'm Sydney Lamb and I'm April Homer and today we'll be talking to you about the TAP indicator presenting instructional content. So we have used the Freire model to demonstrate our teacher's toolbox and the tools that go into it when presenting instructional content. So our definition that we've included is a teacher's toolbox full of ways to help students visualize new concepts and demonstrate expectations. In the indicator, it says that the visual should establish the purpose of the lesson, preview the organization of the lesson, and include internal summaries of the lesson. For example, whenever you have are starting a new unit on the life cycle of a frog, it's important to preview the organization of the lesson using examples, illustrations, analogies, and labels for new concepts and ideas. This also would be a great example of using logical sequencing and segmenting because if you start the life cycle of a frog halfway through, um, the kids are not gonna understand the concept you're trying to get through. Yeah, and some more characteristics of presenting instructional content is modeling by the teacher to um, demonstrate his or her and, uh, expectations and you can do this concisely uh, as we have displayed right here by asking your students to quietly get out your writing folder. So that displays, um, that models by the teacher how she wants her students to um, do exactly as she asks. And some non-examples of presenting instructional content would be if, say, you were doing a unit on the southern United States, you would not include some random information about Seattle or Los Angeles because that has nothing to do with the southern United States. So that would make sure that you are only using all essential information if you're only talking about what you're supposed to talk about. Yeah, so these are important things to keep in mind when you are presenting instructional content. To have visuals that establish the purpose of the lesson using examples and illustrations, modeling by the teacher using concise communication, having logical sequencing and segmenting, and including all essential information into your lesson. So our use of the Freire model to demonstrate presenting instructional content is a great example in, of it, in and of itself of presenting instructional content because we displayed um, visuals that established the purpose of our, our lesson here. Uh, we had examples and analogies with the life cycle over here. And uh, we also demonstrated concise communication by only having a couple of words and only saying as much as we needed to throughout our lesson here today. So thank you for watching our video about presenting instructional content or PIT.